Kathy, do I have permission to interview you for YouTube and all media purposes? Yes, you do. Kathy, what are your thoughts on the afterlife? My what? <laughs> Kathy, what are your thoughts on the afterlife? The afterlife? I really don't know because my memory comes and goes, so it's really hard, you know. Kathy, do you believe there's a heaven? Yes, I do. Do you believe there's a hell? Yes, I do. Do you know to which one you're going one day? Heaven. How do you know? I am trying my best to live by God's word and trying to do what's right. Would you think that being a good person would help you get to heaven? It might, but it won't actually get me to heaven. A lot of people think that going to heaven has something to do with being a good person. Yeah, one, way to, one way to find out for sure how good we are is to judge our own lives in light of God's standard of goodness, which is the Ten Commandments. If you've kept the Ten Commandments 100%, you would be righteous. You would be good. However, if you've broken the commandments, you would have a debt to God's law and debts have to be paid. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Let's look at a few of the commandments and then I'll circle back around and get your thoughts on it, okay? Okay. Kathy, like me, have you ever told a lie? Yes. Stolen anything? Yes. Used the God's name as a cuss word? Yes. Disobeyed or dishonored your folks? Yes. Have you ever murdered anybody? No. I didn't think that you had. However, the Lord says even if you call your brother a fool without a cause, you've murdered him in your heart. Have you ever been so angry at somebody you would cut them down with your words? Yes. And here's your last one, Kathy. Have you ever used God's name as a cuss word? Like... Using it in vain. To use it in vain, without thought and without honor. Yes, and I'm trying to get better on doing that right now because I'm going through a lot with my, not knowing where my best friend is right now. I heard he was going to lose both of his legs, but I don't know where he is right now. So I'm kind of worried about him too. Sure. The scriptures say that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, it means everybody has broken God's law, and that there is none righteous, no, not one. And he goes on to say, and as is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. See, we die because we have sinned against God. The wages of our sin is death. Going to heaven has nothing to do with being a good person. And if in your heart you're trusting and being a good person to get to heaven, the Ten Commandments are to show us otherwise. Kathy, if you were to die as a result of sin and met God in judgment, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty, I think. I would certainly be guilty. So if we're found guilty in God's courtroom, so to speak, would that be heaven or hell? I don't know. <laughs> if we've broken God's laws and he's a, a fair judge, we'd be found guilty. Right. We would have to do the time for a crime. Right. And so a person goes to hell to do the time for their crime against God. Right. Does that concern you? Yeah. Because I'm trying to, you know... Because my best friend was using drugs and I'm trying to get back on the right because like I said I don't know where he is I'm just getting out the hospital Kathy you mentioned something interesting let's explore that you mentioned changing your ways becoming a better person 
Well, let me show you why that won't hold up in God's courtroom. For example, Kathy says, hey, Judge, you've got me. I've robbed that bank. I know. But, Judge, I've stopped robbing banks. I've changed my ways. It's not going to hold up, I know. So do you see why in God's courtroom, even if we changed our life for the better today, what about the sins of our past? Right. So that has nothing to do with going to heaven either. Right. Think about this. The things that satisfy justice are doing the time for your crime and hell, or a payment has to be made. Where might you find a payment for your sin in God's courtroom? I don't know on that one. Kathy, this is the best news that mankind could ever hear. So God is a spirit. He entered into his creation as a man, Jesus Christ, God in the flesh. The reason he did that was to write a check for you in his blood by dying for you on the cross. No matter what you've ever done in your life, Kathy, he paid it in full in blood. Right before he died, he said the words, It is finished. If he finished it for you, what is there left for you to even do? <laughs> That's a... How's about just trust what he did for you? Take the payment. Trust in him and... Keep on doing what I'm doing. Kathy, he died on the cross for your sin, was yeah. buried, he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures, and he's alive right now. And all you have to do in your heart is agree with the God that you've sinned against him and that nothing you can do can pay for those sins. And instead, transfer your trust from yourself to the finished work of the Savior. And when you do that, you'll find a free gift from God. The scriptures say, for it is by grace you're saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it's a gift of God, not of works lest you boast. You know what grace means? No, really, because I don't really understand a whole lot. Grace is simply when someone gives you a favor, but you didn't earn it. That's what I thought it meant, but I really didn't know. God is willing to extend to you a gracious gift because of what Christ did on the cross for you. All you have to do is accept the payment. At any point during this conversation, Kathy, has the Lord spoke to your heart about your standing between you and He? Better. I mean, because... I have been so lost without him because just a lot of me just turning and I need to get back right with him again. Has he spoke to your heart about your standing between you and he during this conversation? Yes, he has. What is that like? It's great. Kathy, you know the scriptures say that if you'll believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you believe unto righteousness. And then with your mouth, confession is made of Jesus Christ unto salvation. That all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you prepared to receive that free gift today? Now you understand that my prayer cannot save you. I know. And your own simple prayer cannot save you. I know. If you don't believe him in your heart. Right. But if you do believe him in your heart, would you be willing to call on him from your heart and receive that free gift? Yes, I would. Can I pray out loud for you now? Yes. Father, we bow our hearts before you. I thank you for an opportunity to serve you, to be a mouthpiece for you, that your spirit can go out and show Kathy her heart of sin. We're all guilty. And no amount of good works or anything that we do is going to cut it. But you still love us, even though we've went our own way. So much, in fact, that you sent your son down here to die for us on the cross and shed his innocent blood to cover all of our sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. And he's alive right now. You said all who call upon his name to receive such a gift, your rich in mercy toward him will save by grace. It's in Jesus' name we even lift our voice to the Father. Amen.
What did the Lord do for you so you can go to heaven? He died and rose on the third day. And is that blood that he shed there enough to get you home to heaven? Yes. Like I said, my dog Lynn's been high, and I've just been in and out the hospital and stuff, scared to death, you know, not knowing where none of my friends are. Yeah, so it was pretty scary. You read it all? Yeah, but I ain't got a Bible though. <laughs> That's... You don't have a Bible? No. If I give you one, will you read it? Yes, I will. I got a pink one. <gasps> Thank you. I'm going to open them. Oh, by the way, I'm, I've done this on camera a couple times, but I'm trying to go away from it because I don't really want people to see. Right, yeah. But because of your time, which is very valuable to me, our ministry is going to give you a $10 gift card to Subway so you can go get, grab you something to eat. Thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. <laughs> And my buddy stuff I'm watching here, I ain't seen him in a long time and he's been having problems. Are you a caregiver or look after him or? No, we're just real good friends. Okay. Now listen, Kathy, there's a bunch of good places you can start in your Bible. Okay. But I'm just gonna give you one. Okay. You can start in about Romans chapter eight and read that on to the end of the book. Okay. And that'll give you a good starting place, okay? And I've just dog-eared it there. Okay. Thank you. Very well. Do you have any questions? Thank you very much. If you have any questions or need anything, and we'll give you a little card with my information on it. Okay. And you call me. All right. Or email me or whatever. Thank you. And the video will show up on YouTube. And if you turn that around, that QR code will take you to the channel. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome.